We've talked about cut vertices before in graph theory. A cut vertex of a graph is a vertex that when deleted, disconnects the graph or the component it belongs to. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be talking about a sort of generalization of cut vertices called vertex cuts or separating sets. Not every graph has a cut vertex, but we might still be interested in some similar sort of things. So for example, at a glance, we can pretty easily see that both of these graphs on screen are connected. But it seems like in some way, this graph over here might be more connected than this graph. And why might we think that? Well, partly it's just because we see it has more edges, so that sort of gives us some feeling that it might be more connected. But if we get a little bit more formal, we can see that while this graph does have a cut vertex, in fact it has two cut vertices, this graph, this complete graph, does not have a cut vertex. Delete any vertex from this graph you want, they'll all have the same effect if you delete just one, and it leaves us with another complete graph. So then indeed, it does seem in some way, this graph is more connected than this one. In fact, we can't disconnect this graph by removing any number of vertices. We'll just always be left with another complete graph. However, there are graphs in between. Let's take a look at this graph, and then this will help us introduce the definition of vertex cut. Again, this graph is pretty clearly connected. It also turns out that our graph G has no cut vertices. If we delete A, we see that the resulting graph is connected. If we delete D, we see the resulting graph is still connected. Delete F, it's still connected, and so on. As a side note, if a connected non-trivial graph has no cut vertices, we call it non-separable. So this graph G and our complete graph above are non-separable. Although we can't disconnect G by deleting a single vertex, we can disconnect it if we work just a little bit harder. Let me make a copy of this graph down below that we'll do some deletion with. So suppose we delete the vertex B, then that will leave us with this graph here. Now we can easily see if we delete the vertex D as well, we are left with a disconnected graph. So if we let U be the set containing the vertices D and B, the two vertices that we deleted from G in order to get from here to here, then we see that G minus the vertex set U is a disconnected graph. And so, as you might guess, we say that U is a vertex cut of the graph G. It's a set of vertices that cuts the graph. Notice as well that the set containing A and E would have been another vertex cut with the same number of vertices. So then how can we use these vertex cuts, or what are also sometimes called separating sets, since they're sets that separate the graph, how can we use these to characterize the connectivity of a graph? And I encourage you to pause and think on that for a minute before we introduce some definitions. First, here's our definition for vertex cut. G is a connected graph, and U is a subset of the vertex set of G. If G minus U is disconnected, then U is a vertex cut of G. And so that's what we saw up here. The set U is a subset of the vertex set of G, and G minus U is disconnected. Then, using vertex cuts, this is how we can characterize the connectivity of a graph. And this is just one way to do it, a way that uses vertices. The vertex connectivity, which is also sometimes just called the connectivity, of a connected graph G is the minimum cardinality of all vertex cuts of G. So among all vertex cuts of a graph G, the smallest cardinality among them is the vertex connectivity of the graph, which is typically denoted like this. This is not the letter K, it's actually the Greek letter kappa. So for an example of that, if we look back up to the first graph we were looking at, we saw that we could disconnect this graph by deleting a single vertex. We could also, if we wanted to, disconnect it by deleting two vertices. So V4 and V2 make up a vertex cut of this graph. However, it's not a minimum vertex cut because, like we saw, we only need to delete one vertex to disconnect the graph. This graph has two minimum vertex cuts, one that just contains the vertex V1, and then the other 
that contains the vertex V2. Since the cardinality of a minimum vertex cut of this graph is 1, suppose we call the graph H, kappa of H, the vertex connectivity of H, is equal to 1. This, of course, will be true of any graph with a cut vertex. So then certainly there is an interesting question that arises. Does every connected graph have a vertex cut? Well, if the graph is not complete, it's pretty easy to justify that indeed the graph does have a vertex cut. I'll leave it to you to think through that, and perhaps we'll talk about that in another short video. However, if a graph is complete, so say we've got a graph Kn, which denotes a complete graph on n vertices, this graph doesn't have any vertex cuts, as we saw in our example above. However, we do define its vertex connectivity, kappa, of the graph. We define the vertex connectivity of a complete graph on n vertices to be equal to n minus 1. Once you delete n minus 1 vertices from a complete graph on n vertices, you'll be left with a trivial graph. So then in general, the vertex connectivity of a connected graph G is the minimum cardinality of all subsets U of the vertex set, so it's the minimum cardinality of all such sets such that G minus U is either disconnected or trivial. So again, in more general terms, adapting this definition to include how we define connectivity for complete graphs, the vertex connectivity of a connected graph G is the minimum cardinality of all subsets of the vertex set such that G minus that set is either disconnected or trivial. And so that's how kappa of G is defined. Here's an example to try on your own. Just give a minimum vertex cut of this graph. And remember, as we saw with our path graph way at the top, minimum vertex cuts don't have to be unique. So tell me some vertices that make up a minimum vertex cut in this graph. Let me know how it goes down in the comments and I'll leave the solution in the description. I hope this video helped you understand vertex cuts in graph theory. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. And I'd like to give a big thanks to Baron of Lols who supports Wrath of Math on Patreon. If you'd like to help support Wrath of Math, go check out the Patreon page and see if it interests you. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.